everyone. We're gonna film this entire hole. It's a short pour for 355 yards, number 21. We have 27 holes out here, okay? I'm gonna take a three wood off of it because if I hit driver, it's gonna leave me with a anywhere from a 60 to a, a 60 yard in end shot, okay? And those shots, you know what? They can be difficult. They can be a little bit more challenging, okay? So I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna hit the three wood. It's gonna leave me with probably a little wedge into the green. I can take a full wedge or a three quarter nine, okay? So let's go. Bear with me on this. Okay, I mean, I actually smoked that ball right down the right side of the fairway, and let's see what we have, okay? So bear with me, we're gonna go up here to the ball, get the distance mark on it, and play it from there, okay? Course management, okay? Like this is a short par four, 355 yards, okay? Everybody wanna pull a driver out on every hole. They wanna hit the big stick. Believe me, I understand it. I do, I get it. But sometimes you can put yourself in a predicament. If you're a pretty long ball, with a um, long hit of the ball, and I normally average anywhere from 275 to 285, 290. So I know if I hit that shot, it's gonna leave me with a 55, 60 yard half wedge into the green, which is a little bit more difficult of a shot to play. I can draw back on it. I can hit a three wood and it leaves me perfectly. And as you're gonna see, like I said, I got a hundred, I have a hundred yards into the green. We're gonna get out the cart and they go to a hundred yard marker right there. And let's go over to the ball. We got a hundred yards right here to the green. Okay. Alrighty. So we got a hundred yards. I'm gonna hit a 53 degree mirror arrow wedge, which is my gap wedge, and it's my hundred yard club. Okay, so just let's work with it. So you look at your target. You pick a line out where you want to go with it, okay? You commit to it, and you walk into your shot and do your routine. And I either I had some Wheaties this morning or I'm just extra strong because I just hit that ball to the back of the green. So we'll have to do a chip up here and see what we have. But that happens. So let's go around here and see what we have. And I had to, I actually hit that ball just a tad thin and that's probably why you, I had an extra 10 yards on the ball to be, to, you know, to be realistically because always judge yourself realistically and then that way you'll be able to improve. So I flew that ball back here because I hit it just a tad thin, but the ball got up in the air really high. Okay. Sit down and rough, but we should be okay. I'm gonna pivot my weight. I'm gonna tighten the last three fingers on the left hand, on the lead hand. See if we can make this par putt. Okay, so short hole, should have been a birdie hole. On my approach shot from 100 yards, I hit it just a tad thin, but the ball went skyscraper high. I still made good contact on it. I stayed committed. I hit the nice little bump and run. Remember I told you, the bump and run will save your game. And I made the putt for par. Take care. 
hit that like button subscribe and share this video peace okay number 24 400 yard par 4 okay we have OB well, actually you, you have OB on the right you have water down the entire right side of the fairway you have OB on the left so this is a must hit fairway and it's pretty huge out there you can still hit the fairway but what wayward shots are penalized okay so I'm gonna take my driver I have my Callaway Authentic Razor Fit I'm playing right now. I have it set at nine and a half degrees, and I have it set to the, the standard position, okay? It's square, the S, the, the S location. I was playing it on the open face position at eight and a half degree, which brought it down to seven and a half, and it, sometimes I struggled with it. When I made the adjustment to nine and a half from the square position, this club been money for me, baby. It knocked out my it knocked out my Cleveland XL. So you know it's a bad boy. It's a bad boy, and I'm gonna show you. Tell you right now, that's like that girl said last night. She said, that's big. That drive right there was big. Let's go see what we got, okay? Remember to have fun out here when you're golfing. If you're not having no fun, pick up another sport. Pick up another hobby. Because golf is the best game in the world for me personally. And when I'm out here golfing, I'm making sure I'm having major, major fun. It takes the tension away. It reminds me that I'm special because I get the golf when other people don't get the golf. A lot of people are struggling right now with the hurricanes and the weathers and the earthquakes that we're having. And the only thing I'm worried about is if I'm gonna hit this fairway or not hit this fairway. So remember, keep everything in perspective when you're out here. Have fun on the golf course. It, it will remove your tension. I'm telling you right now, it will remove your tension, okay? So my ball is sitting right here. Here's the one, I'll show you the 150. And we'll go across to my ball. So here's 150 right here. And then my ball is about 20 yards in front of 150. So I have about 130 to the pin. Well, 130 to the front, the pin's all the way in the back, okay? All right. Pins way in the back. Alrighty, so let's see what we have. Pick your target out. Commit to it. Commit to whatever you're gonna do. That's what it's all about. Not bad. I'm right on the first cut. We got a bunker on the right. I should have challenged the bunker and this blew it right over the bunker with my draw, my standard draw. But you but the thing about golf, golf will make you make adjustments out here, okay? It will make you make adjustments out here. Alright. Got ponds, canals all over here. You have to be careful because we do have the alligator guards out here. We have the poisonous snakes. We have it all out here, okay? Matter of fact, my assistant will walk over here and she'll show you the, the, the water. Show them the water and everything. And show them where you played from. Way back there. Show them the left side of the fairway. Right side of the fairway. Straight back, all the way back. Okay. Let's go ahead and 
get behind the ball and we're gonna um, behind the pin and we're gonna make the try to make the putt. Okay, people, remember, grind it out, grind. While you're out here playing golf, and you may hit a couple of wayward shots, don't give up, grind it out, okay? Take care, peace. 278 yard par four, water down the entire right side, okay? So I'm gonna hit a three wood on it, all righty, and then, um. Some people would try to drive this hole, but you don't get no benefit from driving this hole. play without a glove and you can see the shaft is the grip is slippery and it slipped right out my hands on that one but that happened what I should have did was dry my hands off dry the grip off make sure everything was right and then take the swing that's part of you that's part of your course management so now on a very easy par four I find myself hitting a nine iron into the green when I could have been hitting a little flip wedge. All right. Okay, that's a good shot. Good recovery. That ball stayed the way the whole time, but I think it checked. Wait a minute. Always take care of the golf course, okay? So, you got your sand. Fill your little, you dip it up, and then you're done for the day. So let's take it down here to the course. As you can see, I'm gonna show you the water down the entire side okay on this course this course has water on 90 percent of the holes we have fairway bunkers we even have we got green side bunkers we even have european waste bunkers where you can grind your club in them okay and good recovery shot tee shot was 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 terrible but i stayed committed to it Remember what I said before about grinding. No matter what, keep grinding when you're out here. So I hit a terrible tee shot, right? You've seen the best in the world hit terrible tee shots. But I stayed committed to it, and now look what I have. Right here, I got another, I got a putt for birdie, okay? You go ahead and take the flag out and stand behind there. And we'll see what we have. Thank you.
<laughs> I thought I stole one, folks. <laughs>